you just talk about um, your first start and uh, the first loss? Um, yeah, the first start, you know, it was great. You know, I, you know, like I told my teammates and you know, the coaches, I wasn't going to change my game. I was just going to, you know, keep hitting open shots, defending rebounds. I know that's my role on the team. That's my job. Um, yeah, so I mean, I wasn't going to change my game just because I was starting. So I just had to play my, you know, regular game. And you know, first loss, you know, definitely hurt. You know, especially because you know that's the team that we know we're better than. Uh, they had a heck of a day. Um, you know, they. Um, all of them played well, really, you know, especially the second half, you know, give credit to you know, Marcus Carr, you know, um, facilitating, getting downhill, and uh, Liam Robbins, he had a pretty good game today, too, so, you know, but it's all good. It's one game. We know that's one game, you know, on to the next, so. First up for you is Andrew Kahn from M Live. Andy, when did you learn you were going to start? Like, I guess when you learned Eli was out. Um, shoot, I think what? Maybe two days ago, or or yesterday in practice, I probably I kind of figured I was going to start because you know he was, you know, like he was you know um, in a boot, so I was like, you know, I'm probably going to start. So, all right, thanks. Uh, next up for you is David Woodruff from Wolf TV. Hey, Sean D. Uh, first start of the season, how would you assess your uh, performance on the offensive and defensive end of the uh, floor? Offensive end, I feel like I did pretty well. Um, you know, you know, found a lot of guys. You know, I rebounded on the offensive glass, um, hit open shots. Defense and I feel like I did all right. I feel like I could have done better. I got a few cheap fouls that you know, personally, I feel like you know, it's got, that was kind of questionable for Bull, but you know, that's why I, you know I had to sit out on the bench for a little bit. But you know, uh, Terrence Zev came in, gave us great, great, great minutes. But you know, I feel like my defense could have been a little bit better. Next question is from Teddy Gutkin from the Michigan Daily. Hey, Sandy. So you drew, you drew uh, Marcus Carr as your primary matchup today. And in the second half, he had 11 points and kind of turned his game around. What was the biggest change um, in matching up against him in the first half and the second half? Um, I mean, I just feel like, you know, he was a little bit more aggressive in the second half. Uh, first half, he was kind of like addition, you know, looking for the other second half. I feel like he was a little bit more aggressive. And I felt like, you know, I wasn't – fully locked in and mentally locked in, especially off the ball when he didn't have the ball. Uh, like I like one of them plays, he had a backdoor cut on me with for an one. Um, he got downhill like, you know, two times on me. But, you know, that's just me, you know, taking plays off, which, you know, I know that I have to be locked in, you know, all every play when I'm playing against a person like him, especially. Next up for you is David Mitchell. Well, Sean D, Minnesota came out with high energy and seemed to have maintained that tempo throughout the game. Uh, what do you think would have to be done to turn things around and give your team an edge? Were, were any adjustments thought of at halftime? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I forgot how much we were down at half. I, I forgot, but seven. seven. It was six or seven. Yeah, it was seven. Yeah. Um, we knew that on the opposite end, we kind of had shots. I, I think we were like two for nine from three. Um, yeah, but we just try to get it down on the defensive end. I feel like, you know, we were kind of, you know, not mentally locked in on the defensive end. And I feel like that they gave up, you know, a lot. We gave up a lot of, you know, threes. Liam Robbins hit a, a couple, you know, um, got beat off the dribble. We weren't in that gap. We weren't like helping each other, but. And follow up question, what do you have to do just to put this loss behind you and get back in winning ways? Yeah, I mean, it's one game. It's one game. Um, we know that tomorrow in practice, we got to come and bring it. Uh, another day of basketball. So you just got to, you know, keep grinding, you know, long short term memory. Uh, we have a follow up from Andrew Kahn from M Live. I'm good. It was answered. Thanks. Okay. Um, Next up is James Hawkins from the Detroit News. Hey, Sean, I appreciate your time. Um, I guess just what do you hope the team takes from this from this loss today? Um, that we can't we got we got we can't get settled where we at. I felt like we kind of did that a little bit. We didn't come out, you know, ready to play fully like they like they were. I feel like they gave the first punch, um, especially especially in the second half. But you know, we just you know, like I said, next game. And second.